Okay, um, so this time today we are going to continue with this trucking business, but instead of trucking planes, uh, I'm now going to track something different. So we are going to track a falling object. Um, so we're going to track this guy here, an AGM 130. Uh, so this is a falling bomb, <coughs> the AGM designation. Um, implies that this is actually a missile uh, but I looked at the video and I should let me show that right now okay one so I actually haven't done my research on um, these bombs so I am just making my sort of quote-unquote analysis based on the images um, so that's how it looks um let's see so it's an agm so it's got to be a missile but it actually is behaving like um, a bomb so if you're familiar with the old paveway it looks like a paveway um from i think the 90s or even the 80s but this guy has a rocket plume um so there's a rocket assist uh presumably to extend the range originally when i saw that i thought this might have been an um a JDAM variant, um, a GBU, a typical uh, dumb bomb with, with a JDAM kit attached. So JDAM kit is the um, Joint Direct Attack Munition System. So what it does is it's attached to uh, old dumb bombs in, in old inventory to make them more accurate. So the kit has fins, control surfaces, a guidance system, uh, navigation system, so the result and the intention is to make the rocket more accurate and hits, uh, hit targets uh, much better uh, and maybe on extended ranges. Um, so, but here, uh, it's, it's it was actually called an AGM-130, so I'm not thinking this is a JDAM, so maybe this is just a typical bomb with the rocket assist and maybe that's what's, that's where the missile designation comes from. Um, so let's try to track that and see if we're able to actually keep track. So let me press that guy. Okay, here we go. Oop. Oh, I got it. Okay. So it's right here around the center, around the nose part. So that's okay. I wanted it to be around that rocket side and side, the proportion side. But this is also okay. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of noise. Oh, there's the rocket booster. So, I okay. There's a change here. Um, I think the rocket assist is designed added to extend the range. Um, there's a JDAM ER extended range, but that one, I believe, extends the range by gliding. So it has wings attached as part of the kit to extend the glide path. And it further targets but this one's different there's as you as you saw there's a rocket booster around it uh, at the bottom that detached and so that probably is the reason why there's a missile designation um anyway let's try this targeting one more time so let me change this to a wider screen okay here we go hope i want the tail to be Let's go to the tail. Okay, managed to get there. Um, so a lot of noise here on uh, the background, the mountain, and the horizon edge, and the cloud edges. So it manages to do that. That's very nice. And there's our rocket assist again. So the intention there is to extend the range. So you would have, oh, there's a uh, camera cut. So I lost it. So the intention for the rocket assist is, um, so this is deployed as a bomb from a plane. So it has the velocity of the plane. Uh, and in addition, it has the rocket assist, boosting the flight path. So at that point, after the rocket start, uh, ignition ends. It's now on a basically a free flight, um, ballistic glide path. So it's uh, let's try one more time. Nope. So it's now on a ballistic glide path, and so I think on the. On the traditional JDAM, it would add a wing, and I think there's also another 
um, bomb that has wings on it uh, the small diameter bomb but this is not it definitely or I believe it's this is definitely different it doesn't have wings it's just completely dependent on the rocket creating that extra push uh, so it's a combination of the push from the plane and then the rocket assist lofting it a little bit higher and adding a little bit more horizontal velocity so on its glide path it covers a lot more ground um, Anyway, back to the trucker, a lot of noise around here, it doesn't bother the trucker much, so a lot of odd uh, edges here, for example, which typically causes optical truckers to have problems. Um, so here, it seems to work. Um, I think that's about enough for, for this demonstration. Um, I've shown that the trucker can actually handle a folding object in this case a folding bomb slash missile um, so I'll end here